about a year or so ago I got a report from a pilot that said that he was flying through the area on the backside of the um, hot zone and spotted several men in black coming out of cliff dwellings. This tweaked my interest and I did some research and found out where they were and we decided to go take a closer look. Well we were trying to work our way into the Indian ruins or cliff dwellings back here in the back and we much to our surprise this area has been closed off. The uh, road right here terminates you know and when I first came in here that used to be a road all the way down through there and you could travel it almost to within like a quarter of a mile of the ruins but now we're still a good five eight five eight miles out from them uh, they're actually up there in that canyon right there that's one set there's another canyon over here to the left is another set of ruins and then over in that canyon over there is another set of ruins and uh, you know that these are the ruins that uh, that I was told that a pilot flew over close by and uh, as he flew over them all these uh, big guys came out of the ruins and they were all in black and uh, he said they were you know living in the ruins well were they uh, people <laughs> all dressed in black living in these ancient cliff dwellings or are they something else so yeah we were going to try to get to them today but it looks like it's not going to happen um, on the way back out I'll take some footage to show you what it's miles in from the nearest road uh, you know, normal road. and Mark's down there looking down the road down there and he's, he's not happy either about this being closed off to everybody This is what's allowed us to get in here. Uh, and looking in the background, uh, you can tell we're a long ways from nowhere. So, anyway, we'll be headed back out. I'll be taking video. Now I'm looking down into a canyon here, down below the cliff dwellings. And that is probably your source of uh, water because those green trees down there are uh, basically the they they're cottonwoods and they need a lot of water to survive. So that's telling me that that creek down there has permanent water in it and it works its way up into where all those pine trees are up in there and then that canyon goes around up into the area that we've been searching and there's there's territory in there that man has just does not go so could there be a Bigfoot in there you betcha very possible I'm so depressed that we can't get any further in than this. Not without doing some major hiking. Well, we found this old foundation of a building. We think it's an old 
either a homestead or an old mine. I'm standing on the uh, floor and the foundation right here. There's uh, tin all over in the bushes. And we think that was the barn over there. some fairly good ground to, to uh, plant on and you'd have to have water. <coughs> well for him to live here, is there a creek down there in the bottom of us? No. Well there is, but it's dry. You know what I think that is? I think that's a housing to an old Briggs and Stratton for a generator. We found a another building. I'm walking over here to check it out. Right now I'm beginning to think it's an outhouse. Yep, that's what it is. I can't imagine using that one. <laughs> Looks like a his and hers.